Uh, just learning from how I move. Um, this is the first game time experience. Missed the preseason and all that. So just getting used to that speed like I was talking about earlier. Um, just getting those reps full speed is the biggest thing I'm looking forward to. Is there anyone else on the O-line or even on the coaching staff who's given you some specific advice of any kind on how to get ready for those reps? Yeah, everybody in the O-line, you know, all the tight ends, uh, Kevin Rader, Thomas Okoya, all the guys. Just everybody's helped me um, with everything I needed. That's the biggest thing that I noticed, like, the amount of support and help here. It's not like people are trying to keep secrets to themselves. It's everybody's all supportive and helpful. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So uh, how exciting was it to get your number called, get out there, be in the jumbo sets? I mean, it had to be cool. I mean, you just talked about missing that time in training and working your way back. Yeah, it's a, you know, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, uh, your first game in the NFL. So uh, missed the preseason and all that. So this was the first, you know, time I was on the field there. And, you know, just being on the Titans, playing the Seahawks, stuff like that. It's just, you know, stuff I've dreamt about since I was a little kid. So um, when it was time to go out there, I tried to, you know, settle down a little bit. Didn't want to be too, you know, out of control or anything. So what's your takeaways uh, about the whole experience? Um, just find better ways to prepare throughout the week. I kind of know, like, how to play the game, I guess, at that speed. So um, just, like, figuring that out now and getting my teammates to, you know, find little keys and all the coaches are helping me out with all the little stuff I can work on. And uh, I, we saw you reporting eligible every time. There was an exuberance there in, in making sure that you told the official that. You want to make sure you clear, communicate clearly, I'm sure. Oh, yes, that's the one thing. You don't want to you know, do anything dumb to hurt the team. So that was the biggest thing right there, just making sure I reported, controlled what I can control. All right, thanks, OJ. It's being an offense more, if it's being on special teams more, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just here to you know, do my job and uh, help the team win. What do you think contributes to your versatility that allows you to kind of plug in on special teams or make some plays on the offense? Yeah, it's just listening to what the coaches say, um, the different advice I get, knowing um, a bunch of different positions to play, um, and uh, you know, just maximize my opportunities in practice first, and then go into and then um, you know performing in the game whenever I'm needed. What kind of has your circle done this year to support you? Maybe guys in the yeah. locker room or outside of here. Yeah, just they always, um, you know, they always have my back. Um, even when I'm feeling down, like everybody feels down sometimes. But you know, the people around me, they really help me out with, um, you know, just kind of relaxing and, and and taking it one step at a time. And um, they always tell me, dude, um, you're young, you're gonna make mistakes. Just don't make the same ones over again. And you know, I really kind of take that and I run with it. And uh, every mistake I make, I try to not to make it again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I'm out there just to make plays for the team and um, just to do what I can to help us win. So, Do you feel more comfortable on the field? I mean, you know, coming back from, you know, from the uh, injury in Pittsburgh, and do you feel like each week maybe you're getting a little bit more stronger as well? Um, I would say I felt, I felt really good ever since I got back. Um, the game when I was back after the Pittsburgh, and, um, you know, I just keep getting better each week. Spoiler or just try to win a couple of games to finish off strong? What's your um, I mean, just go out there and play Titan football, you know, and the outcome be the outcome. So. Well, you're still a young guy on this team, but I would imagine you're going to adopt a bit more of a, a veteran presence, especially in these last couple of weeks and young guys getting reps out there. Um, what do you kind of do to lead in um, that situation? Just make sure that I'm on top of my game plan, um, knowing the details for every situation that we get put in. And uh, just always knowing it's better to be prepared than be ready. So that's all I'm going to do. What have you seen from Colton Gallo in the way that um, he, as you just told us, tries to stay ready for any opportunity? Um, I would say him taking on the role of playing special teams was really big. Um, it actually gave me excitement just to see him out there playing and having fun. And then him also being ready to get thrown in on offense at any given time. And, you know, that's always good. So many young players on this offense team right now. Yes, there's some people that see inexperience, but is there a bit of optimism of, hey, this is the perfect chance for people to grow and to kind of mesh as a unit? Yeah, um, it's always good to get out there for I mean, I'm still young myself. For us to get out there and, um, you know, play in the games, and um, it's always, a, you know, it's good for us to get that feeling before next year, and we'll come back and just keep rolling.